Hi everybody, welcome to Thursday morning on Going to Ground here in the West Woods in Wiltshire. My name's Andrew Rumsey and I'm just walking along what's turned out to be a primrose path. There we go. Isn't that lovely? First one I've seen. And uh, behind me the Wandsdyke. So I'm on the Wandsdyke path actually, um, heading down into the main body of the woods. And uh, all the creatures, uh, not this morning doubling back on themselves like uh, a couple of days ago, but heading with great purpose across the fields. I saw, uh, and I know I'm always talking about hares, but I actually literally haven't seen enough hares this March. It being March and uh, needing Mad March hares uh, to be doing their, their stuff, I, I regretted not seeing many. But this morning, goodness me, I just turned a corner and one was closer than I've ever seen a hare. In fact, the two passed me um, about, about 10, 15 feet away and just scamp scampered past. And I, I got a chance to, to see their markings, um, which I've never done. Much more speckled, anyway, the one I saw, much more speckled uh, than uniformly brown and quite lean, huge legs and just uh, setting off across the field. It was it was so lovely to see them <laughs> walk in front of me. And uh, anyway, so yesterday, where were we yesterday? Well, we were thinking about St. Patrick and I was reflecting a little bit on um, Christianity as a motive thing, uh, both as a, as a noun and an adjective. Um, Christianity, uh, the reason for Christian faith, the, the expansion of Christian faith in in the early centuries after Christ, I think is 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 principally down down to this uh, that it was impelled. Uh, Christians would describe that theologically by by the the Holy Spirit kind of pushing them out into the world, uh, as like wind filling sails, and off they went. And certainly they're they're commissioned by Christ at the end of end of the Gospels, but they have this. This impulsion, this pr and propulsion as well to get get out. It's basically go. <laughs> you know the words at the end um, of the communion service. Go in peace in the in the Anglican Church uh, is the last thing the priest says. And of course, in in more Catholic congregations, it's go missa est, and 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 the, um, and the mass, the missa, is the is the mission, the sending. So off you go go on and get on with it <laughs> and so um christian faith was was a dynamic force and a, an emotive thing it was a motive uh, uh in the sense of the the spark in the engine that actually got them moving and it was a motive in the sense of being a reason uh, for a certain way of life and Therefore, my reflection this morning is is really um, two two things. What what are your motives? What are my motives today? What are the uh, what are the things, the reasons, and the the actual dynamic energy that will drive you to 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 behave a certain way or to tackle certain things in a certain way? And where where will it take you? Where where will you be sent out to? Um, even if it's just within a few uh, square yards of your home, what, what, what will you be propelled to do? So, uh, and also to then ask the question, of course, which is the, the vital second question, what do your motives make you do? <laughs> um, because good motives lead us into all kinds of trouble, don't they? Um, we make the most appalling errors uh, sometimes from the best of motives and so both both of those things have to be considered what are your motives and and, and what do they make you do and it might not be a bad thing for for me and for, for you to just reflect upon that a little bit at the beginning of the day uh, or at the end of the day if there's space then and, and, and reflect back what were my motives in, in doing that and and what what happened as a result there we are. The day is breaking. God bless you as you go to ground.